sense, connecting sight, sound and life. Making sounds at home with a spectrogram with Sense Arts by Tom Peel. So welcome to this music session with me. My name is Tom. I'm a white man with brown hair and a brown beard. I'm wearing glasses. I've got a black top on. I'm sat in my living room with a chair behind me, cream walls, wooden floors, I've got a radiator, a picture and a mirror behind me as well. Today I'm introducing to you my object of reference. It's this music symbol called a treble clef on a stick. An object of reference can often be used by people with complex disabilities to signify a place, a name or an activity. Each time you come to an activity I have created, please feel free to use my object of reference to build up an identity of my work. Get in touch with Sense to order your object of reference for this activity. And we will start with a song I've written. So let me get my guitar. This is my guitar. It is an acoustic guitar, so it's made of wood and it's a nice brown colour. It's got six strings and it sounds like this. And here's our song. We've got noises, we've got sounds from the things that we found lying around. We've got sounds from the things that we found lying around. Okay, thank you. We're going to put the guitar to one side. And for today's music and sound session, you're going to need the following items. some bottles filled with different amounts of water. They can be plastic or glass, whatever you're comfortable with using, as long as you're able to blow across the top of them. Like that. We're also gonna need an elastic band, a 10 pence piece, some tin foil and if you've done the other sessions in this series for making music you can use your fizzy pop drums if you haven't made these yet you can go back to that session and make them or you can carry on with just the other items you might also want anything else you can find that makes a noise you will need bottles part filled with water, an elastic band, a coin, some tin foil, and other noisy things. One other important thing that we're going to set up for this session is a website called Music Labs, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. In your web browser, type in musiclab.chromeexperiments.com and that will be up on the screen for you there to type in M-U-S-I-C-L-A-B dot C-H-R-O-M-E E-X-P E-R-I-M-E-N-T-S dot C-O-M When that website loads, you will see lots of squares with different colourful pictures on them. Chrome Music Lab will be written in the top left-hand corner and Experiments and About will be in the top right-hand corner. As you move around, the squares will turn orange when your cursor hovers over them. We want to choose the one called Spectrogram. That's the square with the black background and the orange and green spiky lines all over it. When you hover over it, it will turn orange and you'll see the word spectrogram in white and a circle with an arrow in. Just click on that. When this page loads, you will see spectrogram in black text on a white background across the top, a big black space in the middle 
and along the bottom, several icons, a microphone, a hand, a flute, a harp, a face, a trombone, a drum machine, a pigeon, a computer, and a wine glass. What I want you to do is click on the microphone icon, which is the first one on the left. A dialog box will pop up asking to allow access to your microphone. Just click allow. Then any sound you make will be displayed on the screen by the spectrogram. This is a great way to visualize audio and sounds. So we'll be using this during our session, which means you will have to resize the screen by moving your cursor to the left hand side clicking and dragging it so it becomes small enough for you to see the Spectrogram website and this video. You can resize this video in the same way and put it to the left. If you are using a tablet or mobile phone to watch this video, then you have a few options. Either you can watch the video through and then go to the website and try out the activities. You can get a second screen or a computer to open up the Chrome Music Labs spectrogram. Or you can stop and start this video after each activity and then go to the Chrome Music Labs website and try it out for yourself. If you are using Zoom with a buddy in this session, make sure you share your screen and Check share computer sound. When you press share and go to spectrogram, you can now both see the sounds being made in the session by both of you. Great, so now all that is set up, let's start our session. And we're gonna start our first activity. And that's going to be with our bottles. <clears throat> I've got three bottles in front of me. One of them is just under half full. Another, the middle one, is just over half full. And the final one is pretty full, just a little space at the top there. You can fill your bottles up with as much or as little as you want, but you want them to be different so that you get different sounds. Here are the sounds that my bottles make, and let's see what they look like on the spectrogram. Wow, do you see that? A lovely, clean, straight line of sound with other smaller lines above it. Let's listen to our second bottle. Very similar, isn't it? Let's try them one after the other and see if the lines are at different heights. Yes, they are. This one is slightly higher than this one, and that's the way the spectrogram works. It plots the pitches and the different sounds depending on how high or low they are. So let's try this one. This one's full up. This can be a nice high note. So let's see if it's even higher. Mm. Let's try one after the other. Okay, you have a go. Take 20 seconds to play the bottles in whatever order you want. If you're with your buddy, you can take it in turns. Blow across the bottles and watch the spectrogram. Three two, one. Okay. 
I'm going to put these to one side, the bottles, out of the way. And the next object I want us to use and see what sound it makes on the spectrogram is the elastic band, the trusty elastic band. It needs a nice stretch and I'm going to play it close to my microphone. Can you see that? Each one of those sharp lines is a twang on the elastic band. I'm going to stretch it a bit more to make it a bit higher. As I stretch my elastic band, the note goes up, and if I let it loose, it goes down. It's a very different picture to our bottles, which are nice straight lines. Now I'm going to give you 20 seconds to play with your elastic band. Make sure you hold the elastic band nice and close to your laptop if you're using a laptop or your tablet so it can pick up on the microphone with the twanging noises that you're making. Twang the elastic band and watch the spectrogram. Three two, one. Okay, let's see what our 10 pence piece looks like on the spectrogram. I'm going to roll it across my table in front of me, just going to make sure you can see. That's an interesting looking picture that we got on the spectrum that time. Let's try that again. And how about if we spin it? Wow, that was beautiful. Very quiet sound. And on the spectrum, quiet sounds are that dark purple color whereas louder sounds go up through green and then to red. Let's spin it again. Suddenly stops, doesn't it, when the sound stops. Okay, let's take 20 seconds and you can have a go. If you want to put your spectrogram in full screen while you have a go, just stretch the corner of the web browser out so it goes full screen. Roll and spin the coin while watching the spectrogram. Three, two, one. Okay, so the next thing we're going to use is our sheet of tin foil. And as soon as I move this tinfoil, you're going to see the sound it makes on the spectrogram. Can you see that noise there? It's right at the top. And what we can try with our tinfoilers as well is speaking with the tinfoil quite close to our mouth and seeing how that changes the sound as well. This is my regular voice at the moment. It's quite low, so all those sounds are at the bottom. But if I put it in front of the tinfoil, you can see it adds a higher noise. Splash. Especially if I make noises like Put, put. 
Well, that's if I'm blowing on it. And if I scrunch it with my fingers, It's a very prickly sound, and it looks very prickly on the spectrogram as well. Okay, I'm going to screw my tinfoil up. It's not so loud when it's in a ball. Great, so I'm going to give you 20 seconds to play around with the tinfoil that you've got. And you can pause if you want any longer with any of these activities. Russell, scrunch and blow on the tinfoil while watching the spectrogram. Three, two, one. Okay, so another instrument that we can use is our mouths. And if we can make a noise with our mouths, if we can whistle or we can hum a tune, we can see the tune moving through the spectrogram. Okay, so I'm going to whistle just so you can see what I mean. Can you see the notes moving up and down? It's much clearer when you're whistling than when you're speaking. As I go up, it ramps up, and as I go down, it ramps down. If you can't whistle, you can always hum or la di da. Hmm. Notice how a hum has far more lines to it than a whistle. There we go. So have some fun with your voice. You can pause it or take 20 seconds and make some noises, whistles or sounds with your voice. Whistle, hum and sing while watching the spectrogram. Three, two, one. If you notice on the Spectrogram website, there are other icons as well as the microphone. And if you click on any of those, it'll turn off your microphone, but it will play other sounds. So there's a trombone or a bird or a computer. There's also a finger. And that means that if you click on that one, you can use your mouse to drag up and down the screen. Or if you're using a tablet, use your finger to move up and down the screen and it will change the sound for you. So I'm going to show that to you now. The finger button there. And if we draw, depending on where my finger goes on my mouse trackpad, depends what noise we make. So we can go very low if we're at the bottom of the screen. Bring it up. You can just about hear that. And then going higher and higher and higher. Oh, it gets a bit, it gets a bit loud, doesn't it? Oh, it's not so nice up to that high notes. Let's try some of the other ones as well. I'm going to pick the picture of 
a trombone, which is the snaky brass instrument with the funnel at the end. And that just plays an instrument. And that instrument's a trombone. And it'll loop that around. Let's try the computer. Oh. Very interesting. It's the sound of the internet back in the 90s. Try out the other icons on the spectrogram. Three, two, one. Okay, if you put it back on the microphone again, and you can see our voice again, you can now use the rest of the session to just play any instruments that you have around or anything you can find, whether that's bashing a table, playing a tambourine, or using the drums that we created in our other sessions in this series. That was me playing on my drums that I'd made earlier. Find other noisy things to use with the spectrogram. So in this session, we have used spectrogram to see, as well as hear, different sounds. We used the bottles filled with different amounts of water. We used the elastic bands to twang and make some noises. We used the 10 pence piece to roll along the table and make a sound, as well as the tin foil. And all of these different things made different shapes on the spectrogram. The sounds came across in different ways and we saw them very differently. And it's a great way to see sounds as well as to hear and feel them. Okay, so to end this session, we are going to start with the song that we sang at the very beginning. We've got noises, we've got sounds from the things that we found lying around. So I'm gonna get my guitar back. Here it is. And you can hear it there. Let's play our song again. We've got noises, we've got sounds From the things that we found lying around We've got noises, we've got sounds From the things that we found lying around So thank you for taking part in this session, and I hope to see you again soon. I'm just going to finish with my object of reference, which is my musical treble clef. Sense, connecting sight, sound and life. No one left out of life, no matter what.